you guys, it's Lacey, and I thought I would make a little video about how to survive and don't starve together. This is a beginner's guide, so this means you haven't played before, or you've played very little, and you would like to be able to handle things on your own instead of having to rely on your friends to help you out. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play Wendy, because I always play Wendy. Uh, these tips should work no matter who you're playing with. It doesn't really use a specific ability of anyone. Okay, so we're at our portal here, and you don't wanna take everything that is near your portal, um, because you want to leave some for your friends when they hop in. Um, I do, if, if this is like your first time playing, or you haven't played a lot, um, it, it might be good to play a game by yourself to learn. Um, it makes it more, it, if you mess up, you don't have to worry about it. You know, you, you also don't have your friends to bail you out, so you have to learn how to do things on your own, which is always good. Um, so I usually just go out in a straight line and I try not to take anything that's not within that straight line um, So that other people will have stuff whenever they come in um, So First we're picking up some twigs and some grass so we can craft ourselves um, a torch because if it's dark whenever you come into the game then you will die So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to craft myself a torch. Well, I didn't mean to pick up that flower, but I did. So I guess we can talk about flowers while I'm crafting my torch. We're going to make sure we unequip this and we're going to save it for nighttime. But flowers, um, they increase your sanity. So you have, you know, these over here. Flowers make you saner. You also need to eat, and this is your health. Um, each character has a different levels, essentially, different numbers in these. Um, so yeah, you also have day, evening, and night, and some things are special to each of those times. So um, at nighttime, it gets really dark, and uh, if you don't have your torch out, you will die. So I'm going to start out by looking for stuff to build a science machine. Um, so I need one gold, I need four logs, and four rocks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to build an axe to chop down some trees. Um, I am going to look for the larger trees. The larger trees give you more logs. These are all relatively small, so I'll just take the largest out of all of them. <clears throat> These yellow bees won't hurt you unless you attack them. They're safe, but if you see a red one, you should probably run away. Um, when you're just, you know, starting out. Because the red ones will attack you on sight. you want to be a good steward and make sure you regrow the forest because deforestation is bad make sure you plant those pine cones but they also make good fuel for your fires at night also planting pine cones will help prevent tree guards from coming to get you uh, if you chop down too many trees a big scary like a tree will turn into a monster and come get you This is the home of a moose goose. Um, it'll get you. So, but not right now. It doesn't come until autumn. So, we don't need to worry. I mean spring. It doesn't come until spring. I'm silly. This is autumn. So whenever I find a road, I tend to just follow it. There's some spiders down here. Um, 
gonna look around over here. Nope. Oh, this is interesting. I like it when there's interesting patterns in the ground like this. What the heck? I'm not sure what happened there. I'm gonna go back up to our road and follow it around. See if I can find some rocks to mine. Um, maybe even one with gold. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that. Um, trying to hurry just a little bit. So that I can uh, get some important things that will help me quality of life wise. Um, one of the reasons I'm picking up a lot of grass and sticks is A, to make torches, but B, you can make a backpack with them whenever you get the science machine done. Which means you can hold more than just this little bar down here. Um, that's really handy, obviously, um, to be able to hold more. It, yeah, it makes life a lot easier. I frequently run out of inventory space anyways. But I also will want some logs um, and some grass whenever I get my alchemy engine all set up to make a log suit. Um, or some, oh, also I will want stuff to make a spear. So we will need rope for that as well. So log suit, we need eight whole logs. So we might as well chop some trees down if we see some really big ones. Um, it's becoming night, so we won't... Oh, there's the queen beehive. Where's our torch? There we go. Now, torches may not last all night. Um, if you find your torch getting low, even close to low, keep an eye on it and go ahead and make an extra one. Um, beforehand, before you have to worry about it. Right now, I'm looking for some rocks that have... Um, gold on them so that we can make a science machine. Let's see, we're over halfway through night and half of my torch is here, so I think I'll be okay tonight and we'll have to make a second one. It's really important to... Oh, there's a swamp. We gotta run away from that thing. That was a mosquito. They're not nice. And we want to unequip our torch as soon as daylight comes. Because we're trying to save resources. This this apparently has a very large swamp at this point. <coughs> okay, when you're in a swamp, always keep moving. Run, because of those. Never stop moving in a swamp, especially when you see those things on the ground right there. Because those are where the tentacles live, and the tentacles are very dangerous. They will hurt you. These will hurt you if you try to pick them. Reeds are good for later, but we don't really need them right now. I'm just exploring and trying to find the, uh, find me some rocks. Because I haven't found any yet. I've got flint. I've got... Most other things, I just need some rocks. Eventually I'll want to cut down some more trees, probably here soon. But I'm just gonna try to keep moving, try to keep away from those uh, tentacles so they don't get me. There's usually merms around these that are, they, they attack you. So just keep an eye out. Okay, I'm gonna need to stop and eat eventually. Ah! Look at that tentacle right there on the edge of the swamp. It's not even in the swamp. Okay, we can stop and eat. Now, as long as there aren't tentacles around, you can stop in the swamp. But if you're not used to looking for them, it's, you know, it's good to just let it. Like, just keep running. Um, I'm gonna go south. 
I'm also gonna equip this axe and chop some trees down. I'm gonna start trying to get this stuff for my log suit. Oh, if that spider's coming after me, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Spider! Spiders are not friendly. They will attack you. So I need four and eight, that's 12, so I have enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one down. You can also eat these birch nuts. They can be used for food. You can roast them. Oh, there, see, sometimes you'll find set pieces like this. Um, so I got some armor that's partially used, some lightly used armor, um, and a bunch of twigs. There's lots of beehives here. Bees are friendly, um, except during spring. They are not friendly during spring. Um, and if they're red, then that means they are killer bees and they are going to attack you. So as long as it's a yellow bee, just ignore it. If it's a red bee, run away. It's starting to get real. Oh, 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 those are very bad guys. Those are clockwork knights. Here, let's run around a little bit and see if there's another kind. Um, but they will attack you. Um, they're, they're, see, there's a variety of different ones. One looks like a rhinoceros. One looks like a bishop. Um, one looks like a, a knight. You saw those. <clears throat> they are, oh, there is a killer beehive. So this torch probably won't make us through the night. Um, we're going to try to avoid that killer beehive and hope there aren't more around because I can't really see super great because it's nighttime. Okay, the torch is not going to make it, so we're going to build another torch, and it'll auto-equip it from our inventory. See? There we go. But here's what we've been looking for. I think we can build a science machine. Okay, so I'm going to just build my science machine anywhere. I might actually walk back up here, close to the road. Um, just so I'm not out on a, the, a little peninsula out here. But you can see your science machine on the map. It doesn't matter where you put it. You can always get back to it. Um, it you don't need it for your base. So yeah, I'm just going to build it. I'm just going to build it here. And my science machine will let me build a... Well, it'll let me open this. We'll go ahead and do that. What did we get? Ooh, we got a backpack skin. Nice. Okay, so we're, see, it lets us build all these things with light bulbs. Um, we want to build a spear. So first we need to build rope. Okay, so now we can prototype a spear. And prototyping uh, helps your sanity. It keeps you from going crazy. Um, and let's see what else we want a log suit so we need two rope now now after you've built it once with the science machine you can walk away and build build it whenever um, it becomes unlocked at that point and we're also going to want a backpack here we go oh let's make it that cool buckled backpack that I just I got Okay, so we can put the backpack on. So putting the backpack on took our armor off, you'll notice. There's only one back slot. Um, that works with like the log suit would replace this and it just drops your backpack on the ground, but this gives you more space. So now that we've done that, we're gonna look for resources for our alchemy engine. So our alchemy engine takes four boards, two cut stone, and two electrical doodads. So if we have four boards and each board takes four logs, that means we need 16 logs. And we need two cut stone and each one takes three rocks, so that means we need six rocks. And electrical doodads just take more stuff. Two more cut stone, so that's six more rocks, so 12 rocks total, and two gold. So 16 logs, 
12 rocks and two gold is what we need right now. There were some more golded rocks down here. Let's go do that first. This gold will give you niter. I mean, this boulder will give you niter rocks and flint. Whereas this type of boulder will give you gold rocks and flint. Um, and don't starve together. I believe they show up differently on the map, but in normal don't starve, they look exactly the same. Yeah, here. See, in don't starve together, you can see where the gold ones are. In uh, normal don't starve, they look exactly the same. Next, we're gonna go see if we can find some logs. If you're Wigfred and you can't eat the berries or the carrots or whatever, um, you're gonna want to fight spiders and I will show you how to do that. Spiders are good practice for fighting a lot of things. Here we go, unequip. We're gonna equip our spear and then I'm gonna equip this log suit. Okay, so I'll leave my backpack there while I go fight. And then I am just gonna walk out here, attract me a spider. Come here, spider. Okay, and I'm gonna run away from it and I'm gonna press F and then as soon as I hit it, I'm gonna run away. F is the fight button. So you wanna, as soon as you hit it, when it makes that, There we go. And you'll get monster meat or spider glands. Let's see if another one will come out and visit us. There we go. Okay. So, oh, no, come back. Come back, Mr. Spider. Yep, come on, I'm on your web. Come get me. Okay. Hit it, run. Hit it, run. Hit it. Oh, if it starts to do that, then just run. Even if you interrupt your thing, okay. And you get monster meat. Now monster meat isn't particularly good for you. Um, if you're most characters. But it's edible. It's still edible. Oh, here we have a log suit and <gasps> boards. That is good because we need those to build our alchemy engine. Wait, does that mean we have everything? I think it does. I think we have everything to build an alchemy engine. Okay, so we didn't, we didn't end up far from our um, science machine, which is good because we have to go back to our science machine to build our alchemy engine. What do we need now? Okay, we need to make another board. And we need to make one cut stone. We need to make two because we need two of those. And then we'll make two of these. Oh, I don't have space in my inventory, so I'm just gonna eat these flowers. It gives you a little health when you do that, but it's not, it's not great. <clears throat> I'm gonna make a second one of these. And then how much cut stone do we need? We need two more. One, two, and um, I'm going to prototype this, but I'm not gonna place it. I'm just gonna like right click anywhere. Oh, and I need to eat, so I'm gonna eat me some of these berries that I've been holding on to. So now that, since I didn't place that, I hit, I right clicked. Um, it basically stores it here for me. It gets all the stuff that I needed to use out of my inventory so I'm not carrying around a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and it stores it until I find a good place for my home base. Um, when you're looking for a home base, you wanna look for things like spiders next to pigs. Um, or you wanna be close to the pig king. The pig village is a good area. Um, because the spiders, if you get spiders close to pigs, then they will fight each other. And that will give you resources without you having to do any work.
Oh, there's there's that other clockwork knight that we didn't see earlier. That's what he looks like. But usually there is uh, the pig king um, who is at the pig village is at the end of a brick road. Now it might not this be, be this brick road and I might be going the wrong way, but oh boy. It's always good to follow a brick road if you find one. Okay, so. That was just a loop-de-loop. -loop. I was like, are there two brick roads here? Ah, the stagehand. This will follow you places at night if you have a torch. Oh, like now. See, this is a situation that you want to avoid. I don't know where my torch is. There it is, I found it. Oh, but yeah, the stagehand will follow you places. So as I walk, it's gonna follow me. Can you hear it? Yeah, it will follow you anywhere you go at night if you have a light source. Huh, so I did need that second torch after all. So now it'll stay there because it won't follow me during the day. It's a weird thing. Oh no, it's raining. Okay, when you get rained on, you get wet, obviously. And to stop getting as wet, you can stand under a tree. See, that sound change means that you're, you're drying off. You're still getting wet though. You're just not getting as wet. So there are a few things you can build to uh, keep yourself a little drier. I don't have enough stuff to build this one right now. Ah, there's some. So a hat will keep you a little drier. Not a lot, but a little. Um, there's also a raincoat, but you need tentacle spots for that. And those are an adventure to get because clearly you have to fight the tentacle. Okay, so this brick road did not have a pig king at either end. Darn. But that's okay. Okay, that was just a brief, brief rain shower. It's okay. We're drying off, but if you get, if you're wet, it makes you unhappy. It, you start to lose sanity. Ah, I got it from him. So these guys will eat um, minerals, like rock type things that are laying on the ground. Um, so you generally want to grab those from them. And we're just gonna keep exploring and see what we find. Um, we might find a great place to make our base. We might find an okay place to make our base. Oh, a touchstone. So if you die, you come to here. And it will revive you. Oh, there's some pigs. They don't particularly like us, so... They turn the light off when we get close to be like, we're not home. No one's home here. Don't try to come in. Don't knock on the door. If you put meat on the ground, you can attack the vultures, which will come down and try to get it. And you can get some food for yourself that way. So like if I... Let's, let's get set up first. Let's put this here. We're just gonna set this down. Ah, I wasn't fast enough. Just keep trying. And you have to press Control F. And there we go, we got a drumstick. We basically turned our monster meat into a drumstick except we still have the monster meat. But yeah, if you pick it, ouch. But you can eat it, it's cactus flesh, that's what it is. This is an ant lion. 
so that's the ant lion's home. The ant lion will make your life miserable until you bring it nice things, basically. Marble sculpture garden with beefalo. They're nice, um, except during spring. During spring, they'll try to eat you. Well, not eat you, try to hurt you because they have babies in spring, so they get territorial. It is completely reasonable. You can catch rabbits by making traps like these. Um, you put the trap over the rabbit hole, and then the rabbit runs into it. Um, that's the best way to do it. You can bait the traps, but it's better to just put it right on top of the rabbit hole. As close as you can. Uh, you can't put it directly on top, but as close as you can to the top of the, the opening of the rabbit hole. That is a tall bird. It will kill you. It's trying to protect its tall bird egg, which is good eaten, but you can also hatch it. And uh, grow you a little small bird friend. Cacoons uh, attack things and they puke out stuff for you. You can give them grass as a toy, and they will start following you. Um, yeah. They're kind of great, but Wigfred eats them. Like, if you're playing Wigfred, Pig King! Pig King! Oh, he wasn't at the end of a brick road. He was at the end of a normal road. Not even the end of a normal road, the middle of it. Well, anyway, if you're playing Wigfred, look for cat coons to kill for lunch. Okay, well, we don't want to be in the middle of the pig village. I was hoping there would be some spiders around here. But I can always plant spiders near the pigs. Um... So, here's Glomer's statue. I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make me a fire pit. And I'm gonna put it along this road, right here. This seems like a good spot. The Pig King's close, the Pig Village is close. I'll put down my alchemy engine. And we have a base, and we're safe, and it's only day eight. You notice the most time took, the most time it took was us finding a good spot for our base, a base, a base we could be proud of, I guess, uh, at, in prime locations close to convenient things. Um, so, having the pig king close by is really handy. Um, because that means you're close to the pig village. The pig village has pigs, which you could use to protect you. If the hounds come for you, you can run through the pig village and they, they will kill the hounds because they don't like them either. Um, so yeah, also most pig villages grow, um, grass or flowers or berries this one doesn't seem to but that's okay we can always move in our own berry bushes but they usually grow some type of resource uh so yeah um i think we've chosen well and it'll be good to be close to glomer on our full moon night uh so we can get glomer he will help with sanity and he'll make our lives easier so yeah, welcome to our base. I think we did a great job. Well, I hope that this was helpful and if you have any questions, then please ask them, feel free to ask them. I am more than happy to help. Uh, I 
If you enjoyed this video, then please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss me when I go live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 1 p.m. Eastern or when I post a video. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And always remember, you are special and amazing, and thank you for being you because you're really great. I love you guys. Bye!